like 11 and then went boop. Oh man, it just splooged everywhere. I have a theory. I think the wastegate is being pushed open by the exhaust pressure. So we're gonna put a zip tie through the spring and make sure she doesn't open on us. Just for good measure, I put one on the actual wastegate arm itself and two on the spring. Let's see what happens. She is not running good now. Not happy. You're not going to believe this. We've been driving with the other turbo for I don't even know how long, and this was never an issue. But I don't know how much boost we made in that last run. It looked like 14, 15, and it was enough boost that it blew off the vacuum cap on the intake. Let me show you. There was a cap right there. It does not exist. And this, that's it. Oh, there was one on the turbo too. Is that one going? Oh my gosh, it blew both of them off. <laughs> We've got a machine now. This is amazing. Solution. Hose. Zip ties. Same on the other side. We zip tied her down. Let's see how much boost we'll make now. I'm going to bet 17 PSI before it blows something else up. on this little crappy ko4 this is wild i will take it now we know i have a 10 psi wastegate spring installed and well but there's no zip ties on it that was wild i got some things i gotta fix but she <laughs> she just might be ready for the die ah, i don't know the top end it definitely was not getting peak power it was getting a lot more power but for that much boost it has more in it i know for sure might need valve lash might need new plugs might need some timing probably doesn't have enough fuel gonna have to jet the carburetor now for max power oh boy that was a blast i bet she's making 175 now at least 200 she will make 200 when i have it dialed in oh it's coming together riding like a dream. It's not even making any noises right now. Yeah, that's how my day's going. Quick backstory as to what happened here and why we all look like rednecks. Jason and Caleb came over to do some dove hunting and then decided let's go rip on the MG since it's an absolute monster now. And we blew it up. And this is the perspective from Caleb holding on to the roll bar. Oh, boy. oh man. <laughs> it's coming through the vents. Oh. Smells yummy. Oh, yeah, this is rough. Did that launch? I'm going to turn it off and figure out what it is. Oh, Did that line just blow off? I don't know. We're going to find out. Oh, my God. It looks like it was coming out of the exhaust. Yeah, it looks like the exhaust. It might be burning cooling. Did you just blow the head gaskets? I might have. I told you that ring might have gone. Uh-oh. As expected, the turbo was absolutely filled with coolant. And then I tried to crank it back. Yep. Oh, no. Uh -oh. That's coolant in the cylinder. Oh, dude, it's locked. <laughs> I think we've blown another head gasket. Another one. Another one. We got coolant coming out of the exhaust. Yeah.
Okay, this one's okay, not bad. Huh. Number four is good. Bro, this thing is soaked in coolant. <laughs> yep, number two is also soaked. And number one is also soaked. Look at this gap. Uh, we yeah. gapped it way more than that. Focus. Focus. That has water in it. And it's fine. 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 Yeah, it's mainly number one. I think number two has some. All right, Jason, hit it. Oh, man. It just splooged everywhere. The splooge. <laughs> Hit it again. <laughs> She's turning over. It means a rod's not bent That's good. badly. That's good. Good. It's not seized. So far, so good. They can't even see you. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> it was out of focus or darker. <laughs> Are you just straight Indian? I'm just gonna put a <laughs> Are you just straight are you just straight Indian? No. Okay. Gang Before we took it for a spin and blew it up, I attached the coolant lines to the turbo for the first time. So my theory was that the coolant was leaking through the turbo into the intake. So I disconnected them and decided to crank it up and let it run in hopes that the coolant would blow out of the exhaust and it'd clear it out and we'd be good. Coolant hose theory was a bit optimistic. The smoke only got worse. Uh oh. Dude, this sounds like a tractor. <laughs> it doesn't have a tractor turbo anymore. It's pouring smoke out of here. Oh no. Yeah. Head gasket is gone for the third, fourth time. Made the dumb decision of pulling the dipstick out. And you want to take a swab of that for me? What's she look like? <laughs> oh no. Mm. Mm. Well, we got some gabba goop. Yeah, she's done. Good thing I got a new crank. <laughs>